Hi, Mumbles. Hi. What's going on in the in the world of Nintendo fashion? I feel like like oh. something is happening, and Nintendo has decided that they're just going to do fashion things from now on. That's fine with me. Oh, what's that? There's something in the basement. Is it four new kids for Fire Emblem? I think so. Creepy basement kids <laughs> for us to adore and love. Yay, I'm so excited. What are they called? What is their team name? I forget already. Ashen Wolves. <laughs> the Ashen Wolves. Which we do not have wolves in this game. But I almost you... thought that one of the houses was wolves and then I'm like, no, no. I thought it was the I thought the blue lions were wolves. And I'm like, why did they name another house wolves? And then I'm like, wait a second. No. Why do I think that Dimitri's house is wolves? They're That's the silly. purple team. Yeah. They're, I think they're that's the, what it is. Definitely. This kind of got swept under the rug a little bit with Byleth showing up for Smash, showing up with very little outfits improvements overall, but that's okay, <laughs> whatever. But here we have this sort of grayscale, like netherworld version of, I think, some of the characters in the in on the surface. Oh, that's a good point. Like it's a shadow realm version of oh, other characters. Yeah. yeah, and also just the um the colors, you know what I'm saying? Like a white jacket instead of like a black jacket, like the kids upstairs have. Yeah. That's kind of interesting. It's kind of messing me up a little bit, not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> it's not something is just a little off with these basement kids, and I'm fine with that. And I mean, that's their jam. Yeah, I mean, that's what about. they're here for. And it just so <laughs> happens that you could have gone through the whole entire game and not have seen these basement kids. But we're here to um, discuss our first impressions. We don't really know anything about these characters as far as their personality goes. We don't know if they get wartime fashion upgrades. But right. we do have an interesting, and I think... For base uniforms are already pretty more unique than a lot of the other students. Totally. Yeah. And it makes sense because they're basement kids. And, you know, what else are you going to do with your time besides fix your outfit so you look cool or show off your abs? Yeah. So <laughs> what what jumped out at you first? Like first impressions, what character, what like what feature? Uh, definitely uh, Balthor, I think his name is. Yeah. Uh, just showing off those sweet, sweet abs, just letting them loose. It's very uh, pro wrestling, and so that's probably why it caught my eye. He's very tall. Uh, very JoJo, now that I look very at it. Very JoJo, totally. Which is very um, in right now, like in style. I know a lot of, like, there's a new League of Legends character that's basically JoJo inspired that just came out this week, too, so... Yeah. It's on the cusp of fashion. I also noticed that he has like these gauntlets that like light up and are way bigger than normal gauntlets. And so I'm excited to see what that's all about. He claims he's the grapple king. Oh my god. <laughs> is this my new is this my new husbando? You think Here this he is like more than Felix like territory right off oh, the yeah. bat. His hair is also very impressive. Oh, yeah, it's got that anime, like, spike, but, oh, he also has, like, one little strand over his eyes, so you know he's kind of a bad boy. Yeah, and the eyebrows are very, very prominent, very shaped and styled. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say it, I think all four of these characters is very, like, Japanese anime, this is the kind of stuff we love to see in our anime, like more than any of the other characters in Fire Emblem, like except for maybe Hilda. This is very much like this is what anime is about. Like we've how got much our maid character. We've got our edgy girl. We've got a wrestler. <laughs> how much of it is based on the fact that they all have these chains? I and I've got It's chains. like Kingdom Hearts, like Persona style oh. versions of the Fire Emblem characters. I know, and so I just, I'm all for it. I love that they're like, we're just going to trot out some of your favorite tropes from anime. I'm like, all right, I'll take that. I'm fine with that. Now, I was first drawn to Constance simply because, ah. like, her blouse was immediately giving me that, like, Lolita that was already on my mind based on what we talked about previously yes. with Clara. So I was already like, yes, 
the hair is like a really cute, interesting bob that we don't see a lot of in Fire Emblem with like the cur- the typical curly cues. I but like that though. It's like a little bit cute, but she seems like she's got like she's like not a cute character. She's like more dark and edgy. But I yeah. like that it's still incorporating a lot of those feminine looks. And I am adoring it's- her heels. It's giving oh, me very me. Rococo, like, oh, yeah. very, like, Marie Antoinette style, like, sh- that era of heels. It has that same dark, cute thing that I think we're both drawn to, where it's like, I'm wearing the cute stuff, but there are small hints that I have a dark personality there. And I think that's why you might be drawn to it. I have a thing now, and it, and that thing works. And I think... <laughs> So I think this, like, Constance, to me, is, like, if you mash Ingrid with Marianne, totally. that's what you would get here. Yeah. I hope yeah, that's I the like case. That. Well, I kind of hope that they all are unique. And, like, I, I really want each character to feel like a different character. But, I mean, if you look at um, Yuri, the leader of the group... Uh, they kind of look like they're a mix between different characters, you know, like, um, oh, Lawrence to me is what I saw. Yeah. Yeah. And so I think that's kind of interesting. Maybe they're going to try to have characters that are blended personalities of other characters. I don't know. I have no clue. Well, the purple hair is a major um, connection to Lawrence, but I also get like a more feminine style as well like we both noticed that he has heels or i shouldn't say he like because we don't know but them like they have heels and a sort of more relaxed fit with the coat totally yeah it's kind of like a bad boy trickster character which i think works really well with like your your manly man yakuza guy who's like the other like the main dude in the group and then you have like kind of an edgy maid and then you have like the flirty girl like they all the biggest issue i had with fire emblem was a lot of the characters had low (laughs) self-esteem pretty much through the entire game and so it was hard to relate with them all the time because it was like all right i'm sorry you're sad about being a monster i guess (laughs) my bad but these they all seem like they have like really bright personalities and they all are very confident and I'm here for it. <laughs> uh, but what do you think of um, Happy or Hoppy? I don't know how you pronounce, but uh, redhead haired lady. I, okay. So I kind of do like the Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera. It's so funny that you look. pinpointed into that era too, because I immediately went to Clueless. Oh, totally. Like, her friend totally. has the like same outfit. I th- I think like the the suit jacket with the skirt. Yeah, the redhead friend has it. They all have some variation of it, but yeah, very nineties. I was what I it's got from so it too. Nineties. It's so nineties, and so in that respect, I'm pretty excited for it because it reminds me of my childhood. But I'm really curious kind of like what her personality is going to be. Like, is she going to be like Hilda? Because Hilda's her own special flower. Like, I don't want someone else to try to like be the valley girl or whatever of the group. I want kind of a new take, you know? Yeah, I agree. That's where I'm concerned about character types melding together is it just might feel samey samey because we already have so many characters at this point. Right, exactly. But then again, maybe it's that confidence that's going to set them apart. Because even Hilda has um, no confidence in herself. And she's always like, I'm not I'm not supposed to be on the battlefield. I'm just pretty like, why do you even want me here? And if all four of these uh, kids are like, yeah, I'm obviously great. Like, we're living down here. We're basically adults. We gamble. (laughs) We do drugs. Like, we're adults now. (laughs) Like, that would be kind of fun. (laughs) You know, one of the cool things about Constance's top, the blouse, it's a little um, Lolita hack, actually. And so that kind of top, usually you can take the sleeves off and convert it into a bell cap sleeve 
blouse. So you can oh. usually wear it two ways, which is why there's that sort of like double ruffle on the upper arm. Oh, I see it. Because, yeah, usually you can, that's the part where you can separate it. I think it's so interesting how modest she is. Um, I know that there's other female characters in Fire Emblem that are pretty modest. It doesn't quite fit what I see in her face as like confidence. So like for her to dress so modestly and be so confident makes me even more interested in what her character is all about, you know? Yeah, she's very interesting. There's a lot being told just through the way that they're dressing, which I really like. 